take it easy going up the hill. Come in. Just had lunch with Claudia. She's leaving town. Where is she going? San Francisco. She's getting married. Married? Mm -hmm. To whom? Stephen Beck. The Becks of San Francisco? She certainly knows how to pick them. Let's hope it lasts. Why shouldn't it? As long as he never finds out, I guess there's no reason. Oh, uh, the ballet is opening next week. They picked up a couple of tickets. We're doing Swan Lake. <laughs> Swan Lake, my favorite. You remember it? How could I ever forget? I'm Douglas Corbin. Lynn sent me down to get you. I didn't do anything. I was just standing there, and the cops started arresting everybody inside. Lynn's taken care of it. They dropped the charges against you. Did they do that to you in here? No, I was mugged this morning. They took my suitcase, my purse, and everything. You've had quite a day. <laughs> How is she? Badly bruised. More emotionally than physically. Did she ever find a girlfriend? No. I didn't think she would. There's something about her that reminds me of you when we first met. The uh, shiner? Or because I was that naive? Yeah, and probably a combination of both. You did have the worst shiner I've ever seen. Well, so would you. If a 200 pound cop landed one in your eye. Not exactly a gentleman. Uh, uh, nor is uh, needing him a ladylike thing. I know, he deserved it. He was going to tow away my car. You're lucky the 50 bought him off and he didn't haul you in. You know, you never really told me why you gave him the money. But I was having my first major opening that night. I had to do something to get that unsightly pile of junk called your car <laughs> away from the front of my gallery. Shiner and all, you were the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. I was a mess. <clears throat> I was a street girl, barely 17. Well, I know. I was just struggling to survive. You were so young and naive. All you talked about was one day you were gonna show them all. And I did. I showed them all. You're still the most beautiful woman I've ever seen, Lily. I wish you hadn't stopped smoking. I don't understand why you keep trying to quit. You never succeed. Failure is what brings you back to reality. Watching the late news, and a girl was killed in a house on Oak Ridge. Now, this is what we have so far. Around midnight, neighbors in this quiet hillside community heard a woman scream for help. Oh, no. When police arrived at this rented house here on Oak Ridge, they found the body of a young woman. Now, oh, the God. said that he could not determine immediately the cause of death. I never checked him out. And he would not speculate. He used Wells' name. I thought he was all right. You never checked him out? No, I tried. Wells was gone. He never got back to me. Who was the first person to arrive here? Oh, my God. He told me that when he found the victim, he was viewed lying in the empty living room, bound and gagged. Not Claudia. It was April. April? I sent Claudia. 
How dare she? Why didn't she call me like she was supposed to? I mean, all my girls know my rules. Claudia's been flaky. <laughs> I should never have taken her back. What about April? Doesn't it matter to you? She's lying in that morgue. It's part of the job. It's a risk a girl takes every time she walks in the room with a stranger. I thought you protected them. That's why you have this great reputation. Had. Once the word's on the street that April was one of my girls, my business is over. No one will ever trust me again. Is your reputation the only thing you care about? It's all I have. You have money. What more do you want? I don't know. I don't know what I want. I don't know who I am anymore. Hold me. I'm scared. I did love you. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. What did you know about love? Nothing. But you even less. You were too busy hating yourself to believe anyone could love you. You married me. I already know the answer. 